I don't know what it is with Treyarch, but they have an obsession with the Gallo and Treyarch, there's, there's two other shotguns in the game. All right, and welcome back guys. I know it's our third video for today, but they just keep releasing new stuff. In this video, we're gonna be doing another rapid fire update video. Every time they release patch notes for, you know, Cold War, and we're gonna be continuing this into Vanguard, we go over on our channel everything in the patch notes. We do it as quick as possible. You can watch this video and get back into game. However, in this video, we're gonna be covering the patch notes for Cold War. And on top of that, they also release patch notes for Vanguard as well. Things that are gonna be changing going in from the, you know, the alpha that was played going into the beta. So first we're gonna cover everything in the Cold War patch notes this patch is already live so you can go ahead and experience all that stuff and then after that we're going to cover all the changes happening to vanguard as well so starting off here we're going to go through and there are some kind of meta changes i'm not too happy about i mean it is what it is but i already felt like it was going to happen so moving into the cold war patch notes these are global changes meaning everything that's changed here is going to affect both multiplayer and zombies and there's been some weapon tuning starting off for the em2 assault rifle the task force barrel has been reduced so now uh, it now reduces the fire rate by seven percent it is going to give you that additional damage this isn't really too big of news for zombies the em2 assault rifle and zombies was already kind of one of the worst ars so them now reducing the fire rate with the task force barrel isn't going to be too big of a deal and then for the next change they are nerfing the tech nine which makes sense because it's super broken in mp this is kind of the meta right now the em2 and tech nine was kind of the most powerful weapons in MP. And in Zombies 2, the Tech 9 was the single best SMG in the game. We just covered that in one of our recent videos. They are nerfing the full auto repeater attachment. It now reduces damage by 18%. So it's gonna go from 50 damage to 41 damage. And that's gonna be pretty noticeable. The Tech 9 after this probably isn't gonna be the best SMG in Zombies anymore. It's probably gonna be the OTS 9. But on top of that, there is one positive. The PPSH is getting a buff. The Task Force Barrel now increases damage bonus by 7%, which was previously four. So we're gonna have to retest the PPSH. It might potentially be a more com competitive SMG because it, it was already kind of close to the top tier. It, it wasn't in the top three SMGs. It was in the top five, however, and this might just push it ahead. This might be one of the top SMGs in Zombies now. We're gonna have to go in game and see how much of a difference it makes. And then the Spetnaz Field Grip Handle now increases aim down sight time uh, bonus to 18%, which was pre previously 15%. Not too big of a change for zombie players because ADS time, it's important, but it really doesn't matter too much in zombies. And then other than that, we got one more change. They brought back the gunfight tournament and with that, they added new rewards for it. So let's go ahead and check those out. So the first new reward that we can see here is an emblem. It looks kind of cool, but it's an emblem. Then we get a calling card, which matches that emblem. Honestly, a pretty cool calling card. However, I'm never gonna use that. Then we get a charm. Once again, pretty cool, but it's just not gonna be something I use. Then moving into the blueprint, a super sick blueprint, however, this is for the Gallo. I don't know why, but every every new weapon they're adding in, every new bundle, they are on just a Gallo spree right now. We just reviewed the new Striker bundle, also came with a Gallo, like two other bundles we've recently reviewed, also coming with Gallows. I don't know what it is with Treyarch, but they have an obsession with the Gallo, and Treyarch, there's, there's two other shotguns in the game. There's the Hauer and the Street Sweeper, and the Street Sweeper has like three blueprints whereas the gallo now probably has like 15 to 20 of them so treyarch uh if you could show the <laughs> the street sweeper a little bit of love because uh it has like no dude, this would be a sick street sweeper blueprint but it's for the gallo so we're gonna have to go in game unlock this see what it looks like with mastery camos pretty excited for that so that's everything that's changed for the cold war slash cold war zombie side of things now we're going to go ahead and move into the changes for Vanguard. So the first change we have here is damage overlay. Refine the damage overlay when injured to help maintain visibility. That was one complaint I saw a lot about the alpha is once you started getting hit, you had very little visibility. Also lighting, reduce the density of sun fog, increase the rim light around players to help separate them from the background and then adjusted the overall exposure, AKA we turned up the light. So it's gonna be a little bit more visible, which I think is a pretty good thing. Now moving on to the next segment, audio tuning. And this was one of the biggest complaints in the beta. I heard so many people talking about that footsteps just were not hearable. You could have an enemy right behind you, couldn't hear their footsteps. So the first thing they changed was non-player footstep volume slightly increased. That's any player that's not you. So your footsteps weren't increased for you personally, but enemies and teammates are now gonna be louder when they're walking around. Non-player weapon volume slightly reduced that means enemies firing their weapons you're not going to hear it as loud as it previously was Annou announcer volume and call out frequency reduced 
global MP mixes, pass to improve informative audio and gameplay, all good stuff there. The next segment here just talks about spawn changes specifically for the champion hill mode. Towards the end of the beta, I saw a lot of people spawn tramping in that. So these updates are kind of to stop that from happening. Now the next segment here is just stuff they're gonna fix in the future. This isn't gonna be ready for the beta. Honestly, it's just a bunch of bug fixes, stuff with aim assist and that stuff. Now past this point, we're moving past kind of the patch notes and this is stuff we can actually expect to see in the beta. We're getting a bunch of maps here, which I mean, the map names don't really mean too much of anything right now since we can't, you know, play them and we don't know what they are then we're adding a new mode here and this is pretty cool this is like hard point it's called patrol but instead of hard point where it's got one hard point that stays it's a moving hard point it's going to be moving as you defend it sounds kind of cool i'll definitely give it a shot and see what it is and they're also adding team deathmatch domination kill confirmed and search and destroy for weekend two and then champion hill is still going to be there and this is the patrol mode we just started talking about then for weapon stuff and champion hill weapons are persistent through matches there are 10 upgrades per weapon each adding one attachment there will be three rotating weapon sets featuring two ars two lmgs two snipers two shotguns and two pistols you know kind of cool stuff there now for the core mp for core mp you'll be able to level up weapons to level 30 so they're capping it which was funny because in the champion hill mode during the uh the alpha there was no cap on weapon levels but for the beta you're only going to be able to level up weapons to 30 so that's kind of the attachments that we're going to have and then playstation players will get plus two custom loadout slots which i get this as kind of like a playstation exclusive reward but who really cares about getting two additional custom loadout slots in a beta for a total of 12. i don't think anyone's gonna use all 10 custom class slots in a beta let alone need an additional 12 for being on ps4 that to me is just kind of weird I'm, it's probably going to be in the full game too but it just seems weird to tack it on to the uh, alpha as well and then features combat pacing combat pacing is a feature that allows players to select the intensity of their game player count is determined by map size to achieve intensity described in the combat pacing systems player counts will vary so it seems like you can kind of switch here and it's just going to limit down the game modes that you want to play so the first one here tactical and this seems to be the normal 6v6 kind of mode that we all know it's gonna yeah it's always gonna be 6v6 then assault balanced combat pacing is always enough room to breathe with lots of targets to kill um, player counts will vary between 20 to 28 players and then blitz high action lobbies where the intensity is cranked up to phonetic levels prepare for plenty of combat when shooting blitz and beta player counts will vary from 28 to 48 players so in the beta we're gonna have a game mode with 48 players and from what it sounds like these aren't gonna be on ginormous maps it's gonna be probably the same maps that assault are on with a total of 48 players i'm super excited to see how this plays like hopefully it's not like war that we saw in uh, modern warfare 2019 or ground war is what it was called if it's like ground war style players but on kind of a smaller map that's gonna be insane and i definitely am hoping to try that out. hopefully i really hope it's not giant maps and then moving on to operators which like i said operators don't mean too much to us now because we don't really know any of these characters each will have one finishing move so it seems like each one of them is going to be assigned a random finishing move which makes me wonder is that how they're going to do it in the full game or in the full game are you just going to have a ton of finishing moves and you can put on whatever character not going to really know till the full game launches so yeah guys that is it for that we covered a lot in this video we covered the cold war patch notes the vanguard beta patch notes as well as the new gunfight tournament rewards let me know out of all these patch notes what are you most excited about what are you least excited about i know for zombie players that tech nine nurse a little annoying but uh, maybe the PPSH buff will kind of make up for that, and that's going to be a new contender. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Real quick here at the end of the video, I want to thank everyone who became a YouTube sub or a Twitch subscriber, and extra special thanks to everyone who became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the man, the myth, the legend, Cryptic. We've got Hunter Reed Don Doe. We've got the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Yamasta. We've got the legend Sergeant CJ, the Etoll lawyer you don't cross hoss, the DMCA claim waiting to happen, Snap, and then we've got Luke.